What is automotive relay? Different types of single pole relays. Specifications, characteristics, wiring symbols, and marking relay pin. Diagnostic and testing procedure. Guide to assist in wiring your relay. Frequently asked questions. What is automotive relay? The relay is an electromagnetically operated switch, where with a low level input current, typically in the range of 100 mA and 150 mA, can be switched high level current up to 80 A, in some cases and more. When the input current flows through the copper coil, the magnetic field is generated and the hinged soft iron plate is fast attracted, which in turn is mechanically connected to the one movable contact of the switch. The other contact of the switch is non movable, placed at very short distance next to the movable contact. Depending on the relay type, the switch contacts can be normally open or normally closed. The number of poles refers to the number of switches, so a single pole relay has one switch. Different types of single pole relays Normally open relay, Normally open tied pin relay, Normally closed relay. Changed over relay. Normally open relay. Where the contacts are normally open when the relay is not activated. Coil is not energized. When the relay is activated. Coil is energized, in that case the contacts are closed, contacts 8 and 9 are connected, so the relay switch is switched on. Normally open tied pin relay. When the relay is not activated the contacts are normally open. When the relay is activated, in that case the contacts are closed. The relay switch is switched on. Normally closed relay. When the relay is not activated the contacts are normally closed, connected 8 and 9. When the relay is activated, in that case the contacts are open. Changed over relay. In this case, the contact A is normally open and the contact B is normally closed. When the relay is not activated the contact A is open, and the contact B is closed. When the relay is activated, the contact A is closed, and the contact B is open. Specifications, Characteristics, Wiring Symbols, and Marking Relay Pin Normally open relay When on pin 86 is brought a command signal the relay is activated. In that case the switching contacts are closed, pin 30 and pin 87 are connected so the switch is switched on. Some vehicle or engine management systems require to be used to resistor to limit the current flow through the coil or the use of a diode to dissipate the stored energy in the coil. Note. The relay types without integrated diode may work even if the coil pins are connected opposite. But, in the case when is used relay with integrated diode, you must be careful how connecting the relay, pin 85 to negative, and pin 86 to positive pole. If you connect opposite, it may produce a fuse breakdown or some other element breakdown into the related electrical circuit where the relay is connected. Normally open tied pin relay. When on pin 86 is brought a command signal the relay is activated. In that case the switching contacts are closed, pin 30 and tied pin 87 are connected, so the switch is switched on. Normally closed relay. This type of relay works opposite than previous types. In normal position when coil is without command signal, the switching contacts are closed, pin 30 and pin 87 are connected. The switch is switched on. When on pin 86 is brought a command signal the relay is activated. In that case, the switching contacts are open, pin 30 and pin 87 are disconnected, so the switch is switched OFF. Change over relay. In this case, at normal position when coil is without command signal the pin contact 87 is normally open, and the contact 87 is normally closed. When the relay is activated with a command signal, the contact 87 is closed, and the contact 87 is open. Single pole relay type with an integral fuse. Rarely, in some cases can be found a relay type with an integral fuse added for protection. Diagnostic and testing procedure. Diagnostic. Check that there is any clicking sound at the moment of the activating the relay. Check the condition of the wires and terminals, corrosion, overheating, toughness of terminals. 
Unplug the relay and check the electrical resistance of the coil between the pins 85 and 86. The resistance should be roughly between 50 ohms and 200 ohms. If the reading is drastically out from these values, as well as the two extreme values, zero or infinite, is required replacement. Check that there is an open circuit between the switch terminals, 30 and 87, for a normally open relay when the coil is not energized. Check that there is continuity between the switch terminals, 30 and 87, for a normally open relay when the coil is energized. Testing Procedure Connect pin 85 and one pin from light to the negative pole of the battery, as well as pin 87 to the other pin of light. Then connect pins 30 and 86 to the positive pole of the car battery. If relay working properly, then the light must be switched on. If you disconnect 86 or 85, then the light should be switched off. Note The relay types without integrated diode can work and you can test even if the pin 85 and pin 86 are connected opposite, but at the relays with integrated diode, you must be careful how connecting the relay when testing. Pin 85 must be connected to the negative pole, and pin 86 must be connected to the positive pole of the car battery. Guide to assist in wiring your relay. The picture above shows the wiring sequence for a typical relay. Here, we're using a Bosch micro relay. Your relay may differ a bit in appearance and terminal numbers. Just make the correct changes to the connections. Here's a guide to assist in wiring your relay. 1. Disconnect the battery. 2. Install the relay in an accessible location. Keep in mind that if the relay is going to be located in an area susceptible to moisture, you'll need to utilize waterproof connections. 3. Utilizing 12-14 GA wire and a ring connector, connect one end to the plus 12 volts battery terminal. Hook the other end of the wire with a spade connector to terminal number 3 on the relay. An inline fuse should be located between these connections. For good wiring practice, use red wire. 4. Install a spade connector on the power wire coming from the accessory. 5. Using black wire, crimp a spade connector on one end. Connect that to relay terminal number 2. 6. Install a ring connector on the other end of the small black wire and connect it to a good ground, located close to the relay. 7. Using a longer piece of wire, crimp a spade connector on one end and connect it to relay terminal number 1. 8. The other end of this wire should be connected to a good source for switched power. 9. If the accessory that you're adding requires a switch, put the switch in the wire that goes from terminal number 1 to the source of switched power. 10. When you have everything hooked up but terminal number 5, the power to your accessories, reconnect the battery. Turn on the ignition and test terminal number 5 with a multimeter. It should read plus 12 volts or so. When a relay is powered up you'll hear a small click. This is normal. You can now turn off the ignition and make your final connection. Turn the ignition back on and check your work. 11. Your accessory will also have a black wire that needs to be grounded before it will work. Again, connect the ground close to the accessory. The following diagram depicts the connections for most relays. Frequently asked questions. How many amps before you need a relay? Most automotive relays are at least 30 amperes. This means they can transmit 30 amperes without issue. The fuse holder you are looking at, however, cannot handle that much amperage. What happens if I don't use a relay? This can cause premature failure of the switch. Another required use for relays is when you're installing an electric cooling fan. If you wire direct, without a relay, all of the additional stress from the fan will be placed on the switch, leading again to early failure. Why use a relay instead of a switch? While a relay does add an extra step to the switching process, the main advantage is that you can leave the actual switching of high power circuits for things like off-road lights or air compressors in the engine compartment and control that switching with a much smaller amperage circuit that energizes the relays. 
How do I know what size relay I need? An easy way to determine the limit of a relay is to multiply the rated volts times the rated amps. This will give you the total watts a relay can switch. Every relay will have two ratings, AC and DC. You should determine the AC watts and the DC watts and never exceed these ratings. Why does a relay burn out? If overvoltage is applied to the coil, the coil's insulating film will be destroyed and short circuiting will cause high temperature. The color of the coil will change and the resin around the coil will melt.